We have a, a, a few new seating pieces coming to market in addition to Callisto. This one is called Avatar. Uh, you see almost the complete line here. It comes with arms, without arms, and that's about it in terms of breadth of line. There's a complementing table that comes in a few sizes. Here you see it with a back painted glass, but it could be a solid surface top, could be laminate, could be veneer. This is a signature piece for a lobby. Um, surprisingly comfortable. It's obviously um, been, been uh, the design has been for the aesthetic, but many people sit down and say, wow, that's more comfortable than I would have thought. So really a, a great piece for a lobby. Let's flip over a few pieces for a minute and go back to Mazzy, which has uh, a similar application in some respects uh, to the Avatar. So this is Mazzy. Um, this is a, a relatively deep seat, um, not uncomfortably deep, but relatively deep. What's been very interesting is we've watched people in the showroom, frequently we see people sitting on the edge of the chair, or we see two people sitting on the chair, as well as sitting in the chair as you, you typically would. This chair is available as a one-seater or a two-seater. Um, note how the, the, the two different cushions, although it's a single piece of bent plywood behind, they're effectively two cushions. That opens up the ability to use two different fabrics, so can, could bring some real interest to it. I'd next like to just talk about a couple of new stackers that we're adding to the line. This is called the Sarah. You see the Sarah with a show wood back, an upholstered seat, upholstered, both seat and back, and over here we have the show wood completely. Uh, one thing to note in the show wood is the horizontal veneer. So typically, when you see a bent plywood piece, you're seeing vertically run veneer. So this is, is somewhat unique and, and, and different. Uh, it comes with arms or without arms, as well as those combinations of upholstery. As I say, it stacks. It, it, notice how the, how the glide stays flat on the floor as I tilt backwards. Oak table series. Uh, and, and certainly many of the orders have been in veneer, which is where we traditionally come from. The addition of glass tops to Nuvo has, has been amazingly successful for Groot. Uh, we've done so many of those glass tops. One of my personal experiences has been that when we brought Nuvo to market, I probably uh, spoke with 50 different uh, design firms across Canada. And virtually every single presentation, they asked what color it's, it's available in. My response at the time was, we'll do any color you want. and about 99% of the orders came in white. Well, a year and a half ago, we added a number of standard colors to our offering, which can be found on our website or in the brochure, and it's amazing how that has shifted the orders. And you can see the beauty here when you start to add a bit of color um, to, to that glass. So this one in, in particular has had rave reviews over the last couple of days as designers have seen um, a, some color glass. Um, we have a finished back. On the other hand, you could have shelving and cabinets on the back. We have two different heights. We've got the bar standing height. We also have a desk height. And as I say, it could be bar, meaning bar stools, and we have a number of options there, or it could be standing. This could be an impromptu meeting, a couple of people just standing around chatting. It could be people working at the screen, or it could be a semi-formal presentation where several people are, are sitting and watching. Um, we've got the overlay, which is an add-on, which um, adds to the design appeal of the product. And many people have been attracted to the whiteboards that can be added on um, both sides of the unit. Let's walk around behind this unit, and I'm really pleased to show you the Ando table. It, it, exactly the same theme. This could be used uh, just to quickly get together and chat about something. Perhaps I'm going to sit here with my laptop and work for an hour or so. Maybe have a coffee with a colleague, or in fact it could be more a hospitality type of environment. On the wall at either end we could mount a video um, screen and again could be plugging in, not unlike what we just saw in the Media Hub. Uh, some of the characteristics of our table, and, and there are many in the market, but what, where we are is the very high quality end. We've got a two and a half inch uh, tall 
Note the minor detail which separates us from many who aren't able to accomplish that. Rift cut veneers um, with that, that uh, straight vertical grain. There are no fitments, no mechanical fitments seen on this product. In fact, we have a steel frame inside. Power uh, and, and communications can easily be added. You might note the uh, channel down below, which is covered in anodized aluminum, uh, anodized aluminum uh, cover. Uh, it, uh, it makes it very easy to, to move those cables to the floor. By the way, that anodized aluminum channel could also be covered in a matching veneer. Because of these additional heights, you saw a minute ago at the Media Hub our Aqua stool, uh, which has been in the line for a number of years. We're now introducing the Manolo stool. Obviously, a much different type of stool comes upholstered or in show wood completely, or upholstered seat and show wood back. And while I'm on the topic of stools, uh, many of you are familiar, almost everyone's familiar with the Corfu, which has been such a great product in our line for many years. We've added a bar stool height to the Corfu. Well, in the theme of collaboration, let's move over to our case goods. Here we're showing the Adesso series, which everyone is familiar with, it's been a very successful case goods line for, for crew, has certainly attracted the attention of the design community. What we've added here is height adjustable work surfaces, or sometimes referred to as sit stand. In this case, I really would like to point out two aspects. One is um, where you put the, the height adjustment. Here we have it on the side as opposed to the primary work surface. If you look behind me at the Artemis unit, which we'll come to in a few minutes, the, the adjustable surface is on the primary work surface. That's a question of how the individual works and where um, the height adjustment is going to be of most value to them. Another aspect of the options on this are the, the level of base enclosure. Here there's no enclosure at all, and really it isn't necessary. You can see the base mechanism. Going to the Artemis, you can see how we've enclosed that base mechanism. So you have a choice of, of the level um, of detail that you'd like there. Also on the Artemis, note the floating modesty panel. That could be added to any of those surfaces. It's, it's clear that in that environment, on the primary work surface, you would want it. You will note back on the Adesso, we don't have um, a floating work surface, and there really isn't a requirement for it. Another di difference or, or option that's available is a simple up-down adjustment on that work surface. Uh, so uh, quite straightforward and inexpensive. On the other, we actually have a programmable up-down control so you can preset four different levels. Personally, I'm just fine with this. Um, I set it at a height at the beginning of the day and I leave it there. But each individual works differently. Let's just quickly um, have a look at the, at the Artemis and you can see um, it, we've got a much more uh, sophisticated look it, with the enclosure, um, with the, the additional control. One of the other things that we're pointing out uh, today as we go through our showroom is the veneers that we're using. Uh, as you look through the showroom, at the front of the showroom, we have Mozambique coming forward. We have Tigerwood. This is reconstituted ebony. That ando table we looked at is reconstituted teak. What we're really trying to remind people of is although we have many standard veneers and many standard finishes, Krug is quite open to doing an individual suite or an individual conference table in a specialty veneer. Contact us for pricing, but inevitably you're going to be surprised at how inexpensive it is to go with that special. And for the client, frequently the, the veneer and the finish themselves are almost as appealing as the choice of suite that they make. Uh, so so uh, for a designer, it's really important for them to, to consider that. Now, in this theme of collaboration, let's go over to uh, some of our soft seating. Okay. Virtually everyone uh, knows and has been very successful with our Zola series. Zola was first introduced about five years ago, and it has been a tremendous success story for Krug. 
and for anybody working with crew, it, it has so many things going for it. Not the least of which is the durability, the robustness of the construction. Much of our success has been in the healthcare market or in the educational field, which we all know is as tough a workout for a piece of furniture as you're going to find. So we carried on with that theme two years ago. Um, although the Zola sales were continuing to go upward, we came to the market with Zola Curve and that gave it an additional shot of adrenaline and the Zola Curve, curve has been extremely well ac accepted. Now we're adding two more additions. One of those is height. A normal Zola back is at 34 inches. We've added a 37 and a half inch height, which I'll show you in a minute and a 50 inch height. So here we're looking at a 50 inch back. In addition to this back height, you could add a panel above. Our standard panel is plexi and is frosted on each side, but we're not confined to plexi. A number of people have, said, have asked whether we could do something like three form on top, and yes, that would be very interesting to add uh, something like the, the three form uh, resin panels on top. The privacy element of this uh, is remarkable. We had a, a, a party with incredibly loud music in our showroom the other night, and this was one of the choice places to, to sit during that party. So even with this small amount of additional back height, there is no question the amount of sound on this side of the panels was greatly below what we saw on the other side. In terms of scope, and, and where this can be used, it's just incredible. I started with healthcare. Well, think about healthcare. We've got the issue of family members wanting to chat with some level of privacy. Think of the physician chatting with a, a family member, again, requiring privacy. An educational environment where uh, somebody wants to sit and study and absorb, maybe even a library. And what I started with is collaboration in the corporate environment. So that collaborative space becomes really critical, again, for people to work at their optimum, that balance of focused work time and collaborative work time. So collaboration, as we walk through, could mean doing some work at a media hub. It could mean casually sitting at something like the Ando table. It could mean sitting or chatting uh, or even working in a space like this. But another aspect of this is even that impromptu presentation. You've seen here that we've got a uh, TV monitor at, at the front uh, of, of this configuration. People could be sitting here, but now let's look behind the unit. Behind the unit, we've added shelves, added shelves. These shelves are available at three different heights. They could be desk height, counter height, or bar height, which is what we see here. Thus, the bar stools behind. But don't limit it to, to bar height sitting. It's quite uh, uh, comfortable to be standing uh, behind this panel with the bar height uh, shelf. We can add power and communication or uh, uh, USB uh, ports at the back of this, as we will do on the front of the seat. So great functionality uh, brought with this, this product. Now, let's bounce over here to that mid height. I said that we had the 50 inch, but we also have the 37 and a half inch height. Uh, and this break takes us into new spaces, new configurations. Here you see a booth type setting. So hospitality, of course, comes to mind. Hospitality could be in that corporate environment, but again, think of collaboration. It doesn't need to involve food and drink, perhaps a coffee, but two people sitting down with their laptops or two people just sitting down to converse. A couple of interesting points have come out over the last couple of days. People have pointed out our clean out, and of course, the genesis of this product is healthcare, and clean out is natural. But many competitive products in this category don't have the clean out, and this is a very welcome a a addition. Uh, another thing that's been interesting uh, is uh, some very senior healthcare designers have pointed out the use of this type of a product in a waiting area. And what they, they, they point to specifically is overcoming the bariatric issue. So that bariatric uh, patient or visitor coming in and looking for the big chair, which isn't necessarily a, a comfortable decision. In this case, a person can take as much space on the bench as they need to, to take. Uh, so, so really a, a, an interesting application in that respect. Uh, again, just think about collaboration in the, in the corporate environment. Um, uh, hospitality, of course, healthcare, 
Um, one one uh, person was talking about the use of this type of a, um, a booth in a, uh, a library, which was, I thought, very interesting. Now let's, let's move away from some of this collaboration theme for a minute, and I'd like to show you a new case good suite. This is a new line that we'll be bringing to market in the next few months. Uh, it's called Latitude. What's really interesting about this is we're bringing to the market the level of design appeal that we, we introduced a couple of years ago in Adesso. What's different though, not only is the appearance uh, of this distinctly different than Adesso, but we're targeting a different price point. So we have Adesso at a price point up about here, down at the value end of our offering is Artemis, and our objective here with Latitude is to come somewhere in the middle. So be able to offer something with great design appeal, but at a different price point. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, this one's in Mozambique. Pay attention to that OM panel. That's pretty unique, and obviously it looks very attractive when it's open like this, but it could also include a glass or a veneered panel. Something that has surprised uh, many people, including quite a few competitors who have been taking photos of this, is the fact that there's no modesty panel, there's no vis visible uh, lateral uh, support in this. So it's completely clear underneath, yet look at the rigidity of this table. It's solid as a rock. Some other really interesting features, you see the thick profile of the Adesso top behind me. Here you see a much thinner top. Uh, in fact, it's almost as thick, but it's chamfered uh, to come to a thin edge. You can see that that detail, that chamfering is built into the doors. Another interesting feature is the bottom of the overhead is, is a metal shelf and this rolls across. It's not just a door, it's a door and the top that are rolling across. So we've had some very interesting reaction to this uh, and many are, are quite eager to have us bring this to market. Let's shift gears again and look at a, a new seating introduction. This new seating line is called Callisto. Callisto comes mesh back and mesh seat, or it could come in any combination. So here we're seeing a mesh back upholstered seat and upholstered back upholstered seat. We have two different arm configurations, a fixed arm and an adjustable arm. We also have a, an adjustable lumbar support. What really gets people's attention is the price point we're looking at here. A mesh mesh configuration, which is just a beautiful chair, either in the fixed arm or adjustable arm, is about $640 list, which is frankly blowing people away. Going to the other end of the spectrum, upholstered, upholstered, we're only in the low 700s. And then throw in $30 for um, an adjustable lumbar support. People can't believe the pricing. Again, we're very close to bringing this to market. Uh, a great deal of interest. 